Thanks for joining me, Scott Ryan. I uh, observed some interesting bedfellows uh, listening to the Glenn Beck show the past couple days. I don't mean to attack anyone, and I have nothing but veneration for Glenn and Pat and Stu, but I disagree. I, I really have a hard time with this notion of supporting the administration's move to uh, send openly gay representatives as Olympic delegates to Russia, sort of an in-your-face to Vladimir Putin, who was in the news for outlawing anti-gay propaganda. I don't know what all the details are of that story, because there's so much going on, I, I didn't devote the time to get into the details, but I just have a hard time because, uh, you know, Glenn was seemingly in support of that and was lumping in uh, that, uh, you know, homosexual, quote-unquote, homosexual rights with race and equating that to when we sent Jesse Owens to the Olympics uh, in Germany, which, you know, that to me is an insult to people who are born, God created people with certain shades of skin and melanin and uh, certain geographical parts. There's nothing immoral about being a certain color or ethnicity. But to equate that with Jesse Owens, I, I take issue with that. And I'm, and I'm really uncomfortable because I, I know, I mean, I'm not somebody who is hateful toward homosexuals. I believe that I am a wretched sinner. I don't just believe it, I know it. And saved by the grace of God, and I am daily trying to pick up my cross and follow him, as scripture says to do. And I have, I'm in no place to judge anybody, but God is judged when he said that the act of homosexuality is a sin. So I don't have to make a judgment about that. God made it clear in the scriptures. It's not anything that one can equivocate if they claim to be a Christian. Now, if you, re if you reject Christianity, that's great for you. I mean, that's your choice. But you cannot say that you're a Christian and continue to walk in homosexuality. Because then you are going to die in your sins without repenting. The, the key to salvation is that you must repent and turn from your wicked ways. But if you live in a lifestyle where you're denying them that, that sin, then you're calling God a liar. And it would be senseless to profess to be a Christian. I don't think that any homosexuality should be outlawed. Again, I believe in freedom and freedom of choice as long as it doesn't infringe upon others and their rights. But I don't believe people have a right to say that they're something they're not. The, you cannot say that homosexuality is harmonious with Christianity. There's just no room for that. But if, if you know, so I, I will leave that alone unless you start deceiving the church and trying to uh, gradually undermine, as they have been for decades, and get the church as they have succeeded in many denominations like Episcopalian, Methodist, and they're constantly going after the Catholics and on and on and on you name the denomination, many have capitulated and in the face of Christ, in the face of the God to whom they professed, have actually added and detracted from the scriptures egregiously and will be held accountable for that. Nevertheless, I, I think that wh where I'm conflicted is that I don't believe in discriminating against people and I'm not hateful toward homosexuals. I've loved many homosexuals that I've known. I mean, you know, not, obviously I'm not a homosexual, <laughs> but when I say love, I mean like agape love, and, and people for whom I have a, a burden and really have had friendships with and spoken amicably, and where they've actually elicited my opinions, and knew where I stood, but we could still be respectful and I could still be loving to them. I mean, there are many great people who are homosexuals. Richard Simmons. 
anyways, uh, I have a problem where, as an American, as a matter of official American policy, I, we're being put in a position where I'm supposed to say, yay, go Obama, let's put our approbation behind homosexuality and send homosexual delegates to Russia uh, and the president who there is against homosexuality. So I'm supposed to take the side officially and give commendation to that. I just can't do that. I think that if you look at it outside of our, yes, we don't like discrimination, that's the human temporal condition. There's always going to be discrimination, things that we don't like, and injustice is done. But if I try to see what God is seeing, and he's seeing the United States of America standing up for homosexuality and giving official commendation or approbation to it, I see that as a very dangerous position and one that doesn't bode well. And I believe that this country has already been handed over uh, to its enemies, and we are in a period of judgment right now for our sins for many reasons. Uh, immorality, of course, being a major one, as has happened with Israel when God turned them over to their enemies. Immorality and idol worship and uh, the sacrificing of tens of millions of children, human beings, the, the, the uh, contempt that the so-called leaders of this country have for human life. I believe God has warned us and given us so many chances, and we've turned our back on it. And on, on his commands and he's been so patient so I have a problem and it doesn't matter I yeah I don't like there, there's that old saying the enemy of my enemy is my friend and blah 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 uh, those maxims might have some in credibility in certain circumstances but I don't believe that just because I detest Vladimir Putin because I believe he's a commie and is going to bring great evil to Russia and the world. I'm not going to necessarily be against everything he's against because I don't like Vladimir Putin. I can't just automatically take the opposite position because he's the true enemy. That would not be logical or sensible. Now, we could say that my reason for being against homosexuality is very different than his. We have different reasons for being against it. And that's one thing, but I'm not going to go on record and fight and say, yeah, America, let's go send those homosexual hours. Let's stand behind homosexuality. And we're going to be the, in the, we have the rectitude. I don't think God's seeing it that way. So I think we need to be really careful here. Thank you for joining me. I'm Scott Ryan.